Hitchhikers. Good afternoon, everyone. We are the team Hitchhikers, and the app we built for this week is Take a Hike. Hi, I'm Abigail White. Um, so before Code Fellows, I was just finishing up undergrad, and I was studying economics. And about halfway through that, I realized there's nothing to do with this. Um, and so I finished it out, and I realized that I wanted to spend my career creating things and making things that were tangible, where I could see the product of it. Um, and eventually, that led me to Code Fellows, and had a lot of fun. In begin. Hello, I am Miguel. I am a Navy veteran. I graduated with a CS degree. And I came to Code Fellows to learn web development. I had a friend here who does it, and he loves it, so that's why I'm here. Uh, I'm Alex Kahn. Uh, grew up here in Seattle. I was a cook for the past six years in restaurants and doing catering. Wasn't making much money, so I decided to do a change and got recommended Code Fellows by a former grad. Glad I'm here. Hi, I'm Steven. Um, a little bit about my background. I grew up an hour away in Tacoma Valley. Um, I went to PLU in Tacoma where I studied business. Um, after that, I worked at a bank for about three years and then joined the Marine Corps for about four and a half years where I did uh, calibration and repair. So I got to work with logic and um, all sorts of troubleshooting stuff. So um, what Take a Hike is it's a web application that utilizes individual taste and preferences to near-death experiences um, to find the right hike for every individual person. Uh, I had this idea. I just moved here from Boston about four weeks ago, and I love the outdoors and I love hiking, but I didn't know any good paths around. And even my friends I'm living with, they've lived here for years, and they were talking about how um, they just do the same like two hikes like over and over. And so hopefully, like um, this application can help people who are either new to an area or experienced hikers looking for something new um, to find the right hike for them individually. All right, so we're going to walk through the questionnaire. All right, I'm going to need some help with the responses here. What level of difficulty are you looking for in a hike? Do. Do. <laughs> How do you feel about dogs and kids? <laughs> Dogs, no good <laughs> 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 How much elevation gain are you willing to climb? Not much at all, a fair amount. Not bad, fair. Cool. <laughs> fair. Which region do you prefer? Literally as far away as possible. Which hiking movie did you like best? Homer Dyer, Homer Dyer, Homer Dyer, Homer if you had to choose, how would you rather die? Require a spectacular shoes. Are you looking for a hike with a lake, river, or waterfall? All of the above. Flip jumping. Yes. Would you have to cut your arm off? <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Are you both paid for parking? <laughs> 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 no, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the results page. You click the results, it'll pull up the hike and we recommend you. And you were recommended West Tiger 3 and I said, what? That's actually so good. That's good. I did want to mention that we do persist local, the, the tallies in local storage. If you want to pull up the developer tools application. That's it, yeah, right there. In big in the console. Top one. In big in the console. <laughs> you can so do if it. we do this again, these numbers <laughs> are going to go up. We're keeping track of that. This isn't going to affect what we, what we recommend to the user, but this is something that we're keeping track of in case we want to like maybe use the data for something else, put a chart or something. Um, but um, yeah, so my main con contribution to this project was the flow of the questionnaire. And that took some kind of figuring out how we're going to tally the hikes. And we talked about it as a group that we thought that's probably best to limit the hikes to about three. That way it's not as complicated and we could, we could figure 
figure that out quickly. Um, um, the thing that was challenging was, was what I contributed basically was figuring out the JavaScript, getting that working. Um, but after we got that done, the rest of the, the work was basically the layouts and getting some pages looking right at it. That proved challenging, the CSS files, some of the merge conflicts were. Um, so we're just going to show the other two hikes. This is our easier one, but still beautiful and rewarding. I mean, we wouldn't know. We haven't done it, but <laughs> <laughs> the internet, though. <okay. laughs> um, of course, the last one we've all done a few times over. It's considered the world's deadliest mountain. It has a mortality rate of 34%. Everest is 6%. Um, so. We recommend that. My main contribution to the project is more based around UI, um, the general theme and design. I had the opportunity to create a lot of the books that Stephen will talk about. Um, we have to go in and fix. But um, I also was able to add in um, working with Meta, like the favicon at the top if you see in the browser, and um, in the Meta creating title, description, logo, um, images show up if you post the URL on Facebook, it'll have a whole pop up thing. So I had fun experimenting with those as well. Oh, um, our challenge so when we started the project, we basically assumed if there were no like explicit conflicts on GitHub, then it was fine to merge. Um, that's not the case. <laughs> and um, so, what we learned by that is to go line by line. Um, every change that happened before the merge to make sure we were all in agreement. And the solution to that was just good communication um, and knowing why we were merging something um, to the master. Um, so we tried to pair program with JavaScript, so everybody had a little hand in that. Miguel kind of took the lead, but we all knew what was going on there. Um, I did the research for the hikes. Originally there was 12 options and we narrowed it down to three. Um, CSS, I worked on a lot of these like pop out button things. I did the background. Um, and yeah, CSS is tough for me. I I found that every time I would like fix something, I would break something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we should have probably made separate files for all of the pages. Um, and then, yeah, getting more comfortable with GitHub and Git. I'm still not great at it, but this project helped me immensely. Um, some of the contributions that I got to make to this web app um, was sourcing a lot of the images for the results from unsplash.com, which is a pretty cool website. Um, what else? Uh, CSS, fixing some of those bugs that Abby had mentioned. Um, after we had fixed all the, the the pull request issues where we all realize, oh, we all have different stuff. What's happening? We got it so, okay, all of our code's the same, but then I was the only one that had a different display, and I'm like, no, mine's still not working. And so going through and kind of isolating the different problems and figuring out what was happening and then reworking the CSS to use more box model um, manipulation. Okay. Yeah. Um, what we enjoyed and what we're proud of. Um, I'm really proud of, uh, like there are different situations where on the quiz our pictures are taking a really long time to load. And as a group we were able to identify, wait, the resolution is too high. Um, and then go in and like decrease the resolution so that it was a quicker load and um, different problem solving like that. Um, I also really enjoyed watching like our initial idea and the wireframes uh, that we like hand drew like come to life and then adding functionality and um, all sorts of things like that. Um, I really enjoyed that. I am really proud of that Favicon. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really impressed by it. Um, <laughs> um, no, but like all, like they were talking about, like the fact that the buttons could um, get bigger when you hover over them, like the little details like that, I'm still really um, proud of those contributions. Um, I really like the, the maps on the web pages gives you kind of lets you know where it is in the world. That was pretty quick to get to get completed, but I think it, it added a lot to the web page. And um, the challenge, the thing that I 
I, I guess I really liked most was learning GitHub, learning merging, learning complex, uh, overcoming complex. I, I come from a CS background and we didn't really collaborate this intensively in, in school, so this is something that I think is gonna be useful. Yeah, I really enjoyed working in the group setting. Like all of our labs previously were solo, minus like the pair programming stuff, but that's different. Um, it was it was fun working together. We got a lot done that we couldn't have done by ourselves in this short amount of time. And I learned a lot from my group. Hopefully they learned from me. Um, some other things that I know I learned was just digging in when we found a problem to kind of figure out the issue. Like one of the problems I had, which was really frustrating, is just getting the footer to be at the bottom of a page. CSS, I mean, if you, you know, whenever anyone starts working with CSS, it's just so frustrating. And um, how we kind of overcame that and fixed it was I found a, kind of a variation of something, I think it was called Ryan Fate's Sticky Footer CSS. and because we have different size pages, so you don't want it necessarily at the bottom of the window, but you also don't want it at the bottom of the content if the content's really short. So um, that was kind of how we overcame that. And what I'm most proud of, um, like a lot of them have said, um, just our group aspect, how we work together. Um, I don't really use a lot of different, uh, I guess, websites and social media, and the way we were able to bring all the different things in um, that made it interconnected, like the Bitmojis and linking to GitHub and email and LinkedIn and all that. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the way that we have everything kind of interconnected makes it feel much more, the way we can draw from all those different resources. Uh, I mean, I'm just really proud of how we did that. But that's all we have prepared. Are there any questions? Alex, is your photo you jumping out of a book? Are there were there any point where you felt like there were irrevocable differences, and how did you get through those? I mean, I think at the beginning, like just working in any group, there's a natural what's the dynamic. And you're learning each other's strengths and weaknesses, um, and figuring out how to distribute work. And, uh, I mean, we peer programmed a lot. Um, we tried quad programming, which is a little less effective ultimately, <laughs> um, but the effort was there. Um, but I think more just sort of the first day kind of learning the dynamic, but I mean, we feel like we worked really well together um, throughout the whole process. Yeah. Kind of being able to like uh, negotiate your own goals, like what you want from it and with other people's wants and needs, also for the scope of the project. Yeah. Like when, when we were in our planning stage, um, 
the scope could have gotten really out of hand really quick, but um, everyone was kind of willing to say, yeah, well maybe we, beginning now, before we build it out, maybe in the future, we want to kind of keep it a little bit smaller, like three results. In the future, we would want to build that out, but. Cool. Um, in your guys' quiz, uh, you obviously have a lot of content that's probably generated by you guys. Um, how did you manage that content uh, that you probably created with like, all the different questions and such and the event handlers on them so that they would then uh, go to that um, through that process? Did you guys extract that or did you guys kind of manually uh, go through that? Well, with the way we set it up, and each hike is linked to a response for each question. So that's kind of how we kept tally. Um, within the event listener, it, gener it removes these responses, it removes this question, and then it brings up the next question, and it creates more event listeners for the next couple of responses until we get to the last page. So, so it's all that content is kind of put into our knowledge by us. We came up with the questions. Yeah. That yeah, no, do you guys store them in, like, are you guys pulling in arrays and stuff? Or yeah, just, it's all in arrays. No JSON yet.